Barn Boy's taking off. Yep, Barn Boy needs to go look at a Moco or something like that. So today, we actually got the tractor back. Yes, yes, Farm Boy's okay. He's driving, he's all okay. And the tractor wasn't so okay. That was a 3070, if you remember, 8RX. And this is another demo. Uh, the company, I don't know if they're worried about us suing them or what, but they're, they gave us another demo. It's a little bit less horsepower, but I'm not complaining. I mean, I have a refrigerator and a back rubber in my cab. You might notice something a little new on the farm. And yes, I haven't purchased this yet, but I'm thinking about purchasing this 1401 with tracks. But it's a little bit, uh, we haven't got to a good uh, price range yet. And I don't know, I mean, does red really look good with the John Deere green? The plan was actually to see how it looks on my Steiger. But Farm Boy, if you know, his, uh, his uh, 8400, yeah, it can't pull his grain cart he purchased at the auction. So he wanted to see how this thing worked up, made sure it all hooked up all okay so we are ready for harvest when it comes. Because I guess he has to use my Steiger, my case here, to pull it. I do like how it looks. I gotta get them triples off the Steiger though, someday. Get this garage door opened up here and probably back up the... I need to put the 8RX. It's not mine, but you can't leave an 8RX outside because it's just way too pretty. Too nice to leave outside. At least for me, I think it is, so... Uh-oh. 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 It wasn't me. Yesterday, I I was at the uh, movies. Uh, uh, thank you for your service, sir. So he is just leaving. That's the one time in a long time I think I haven't gotten arrested when I see one of them. Actually, good news. So they came and dropped off court orders. So I haven't been telling all you guys this because I'm a little embarrassed. So my uh, grandfather recently passed away and uh, he had a farm. The whole family was fighting for ownership. We ended up having to sell the whole entire farm and we've been waiting for it to go through the courts official. I can't believe it. It's been years since I've been to this farm. Grandpa, once he got sick, he wanted it all kept just the way he liked it, and we respected his wishes. Issue is, is he didn't really believe in a lot of government and anything like that, so there really wasn't a will. So, it got to be a huge argument. Always do a will. Wills are important. It gets pretty messy when there isn't one. Of course, when we're driving by Grants, we got to give him the little... Honkity honk. Uh-oh. Grant. Oh, man. Uh-oh. I hope he's okay. I kept it a secret primarily because, one, it's a little bit embarrassing that our family was fighting, and two, it was a little bit depressing that I couldn't just purchase this farm right away. Man, I see it off there in the distance. I'm just so happy it is back into the family name. I wouldn't worry if any of my other relatives ended up purchasing it. I just didn't want it to leave the family. I was in the best position to purchase it, so I decided to have the top bid just to make sure none of the local farmers, none of the local bankers took my, our old family farm. That's the most important thing to me, it was just staying in the family. All right. Open this up. Oh man, I'm just so excited. It's been so long since I've seen it. This place is really overgrown. It has uh, been neglected. It's been abandoned since Grandpa went to the resting home, since his health started failing. And look at this. We got. It does have a really nice bin setup uh, for an old for an old farm, just an 80 acres. So. It's pretty impressive, to be honest. You usually don't see this type of... 
these type of bin works. They've all been either gutted or uh, moved or something like that. Ooh, wow, look at that. My old grandma's car back over there in the tree row here. See, yeah, the old Plymouth here. Yep, it's been a while since that thing was been running. It's been a while since she's been around. This is my grandpa's, one of his old sh trucks here. His, his Silverado K30. The transmission went out a long time ago. Man, it just feels so good to be back. As a young child, I used to play around here when my dad went to the city to come in here and play on the family farm. And now I get to get it back. It's been so long. Open this up. Oh, yeah. That's uh, Grandpa's last truck here. His last farm truck. Ooh. I did not know Grandpa was a little tinkerer. I mean, look at this. This is not something you usually see a Grandpa do. But, man. Yeah, maybe he was getting a little bored in his old age. But he could still get it done. This thing is clean. Very clean. Lifted Bel Air. Usually don't see, uh, most of the seniors, they like keeping it bone stock. It's a little bit weird, but I'm not going to say my grandpa wasn't weird. The house has been infested with raccoons and rats, so I won't even take you into there because that is a... Uh, I don't even want to smell that. It probably smells like farm boy. Yeah. There's the old outhouse. Used to have to always go in there. What is, uh, just a couple old wagons back here in the trees. I don't know if there's anything else out and about. Grandpa was pretty good at putting everything away. But as you can see, man, we really need to get a, uh, bush trimmer around here. Because holy cow, we got a lot of bushes. Alright, this is where I think he had all his items What's up right here oh oh I did not know grandpa had a Ford on the farm holy cow where did he drag this out man is that a good-looking OBS holy cow do I like the looks of that thing you could really tell we have the same blood because I was going to restore a Ford it would look exactly like this. Maybe just different headlights, but almost exactly that bumper. Man, love the looks of that bumper. Oh, wow. Look at that big old exhaust on the back. Tires, man. Meaty. We'll throw some rocks down. I forgot about Grandpa's Fairlane. Man, I can't believe I forgot this thing. This thing is so cool. I'm so glad I have this. Of course, this has a 427 big block in it. Holy cow. Listen to that thing purr. Whoo! Man, is that a good sound in car there. Actually, I'm not for sure if this was Grandma's car or not. One of these is Grandma. Maybe one of them was a parts car and the other one was Grandma's. I do not remember. There's Grandpa's, one of his newest tractors, the 886 International. One of the best looking internationals. Got the straight pipe. Man, would that thing purr out in the field. Of course, he had the 4020, just like I'm pretty sure every old farmer had back in the day with the year round cab. Man, that's still a good looking tractor. Can't pick which one. Good looking choices. Grandpa. He didn't, he wasn't brand loyal by any means, so best deal, best product was in the farm for him. Of course, we have an Alice back on the farm. This is one of my favorite tractors, because this is one of the first tractors I got to ride around with, with him on. I forgot about his little uh, New Holland sickle mower here. So, of course, he had an L3 Gleaner, like most old-timers did back in the day, Gleaners. There was a lot of them back in the day, and they're still running today. Man, is that a good-looking Gleaner. 
I bet we can clean that up and actually look at you know we don't actually have a harvester yet well I guess we do have one John Deere I forgot sorry but we're gonna have to kind of upgrade them two old timers probably can't do the acres as what we have today back in the day of just 80 acres this thing was perfect to get the job done in his off time grandpa actually drove semi so this is one of his first semi trucks here this international man you can you just don't have any cab room in this thing the new holland here the 1116 new holland self-propelled man i remember the days in the hay field running this thing so grandpa kind of had a few head of cattle all the time so he did have this i'm pretty sure there's a square baler around here somewhere a little square baler haven't seen it yet get in here now this is clean so of course grandpa updated later in his days to this beauty man is it i bet this thing still runs listen to that oh yeah yeah grandpa sure did have taste because this is one clean pretty looking cab over here listen to that thing purr man would not mind having this on the farm and straight stacks and everything whoo purdy purdy beautiful of course he had a three-wheeler and my favorite this is what I broke my first bone off of driving around this old dirt bike when I wasn't supposed to but memories are good but thank you all for watching and I will see you next time over here in Iowa. Put this in here. Hey, uh, farm boy's here. What is he doing? Oh, oh you hotboxed me. Ugh.